Jones, do you remember, like, was, was the perception of him very different after that national championship compared to, like, what happened? Do you think he would have been a first-round pick if he came out? I, I don't even uh, recall when he came out, but, but I think in these cases, uh, in most scenarios, you got to strike while the iron is hot. Um, you know, this is, a, this is essentially like a once-in-a-lifetime deal. You know, uh, you can run the risk of losing stock and may never get that, that stock back, you know. Um, so with his stock being as high as it currently is, man, I mean, there's not much you know, to gain. He's already essentially a first-round draft pick, uh, middle to top-tier first round. I mean, there, there, there's, nothing, there's nothing more to gain. And there's plenty to lose. I think that's a really interesting point, Dre, is it's like how much higher can you get from here versus how much lower can you get from here? Like right. he's perceived QB3 and he's generally perceived to be a first round prospect based on his traits and the sample size that he has. You know, what are you, you going to play and hope that you pass Fields and, and Trevor and go one versus going eight to the Raiders or, or something like that? Or right. you go to LSU and you've got less than a month to learn the playbook and it ends up being a dumpster fire. And Joe Brady is so much more of, of what we realized was important in that offense. And you play average. And now all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, he went from FCS to SEC and he didn't play that great. So maybe this kid's not all that in a bag of chips. Uh, you got to strike while the iron's hot for sure.